What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man can only take so much disrespect before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, as this year comes to a close, what can we expect for next year? Definitely with the way this society is going and how more and more men are no longer gonna restrain themselves, I have a sneaky suspicion Things are going to get a whole lot livelier and a bunch of women are going to get a whole lot deader. Hey, it's not me that's making this happen. It's the society that has bred the men who finally decide to take matters into their own hands. Why? Because the society refuses to adequately punish women when they do do something wrong to a man. So, Hey, it's the environment, it's society, it's women, and men are just reacting to what has happened to them. Anyway, this article was published on the 15th of December. Man terminated wife as she slept in their upper buck's home. Gentlemen, especially you cohabitating men, I have a special message for you when I'm done with this article. An upper Bucks County man is charged with third degree termination, abuse of a corpse and other offenses for allegedly strangling and smothering his wife to death while she slept in their Sellersville borough home in October. October. The Bucks County District Attorney's Office Thursday announced the charges against 57-year-old Stephen Capaldi of 254 High Street, who, in addition to terminating her, is accused of dismembering his wife's body in an effort to conceal evidence of his alleged crime. Well, it appears that the Maskastan Chop Shop has opened in the West. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! According to the timeline provided by the DA's office in a post about the case on their Crime Watch site, the investigation into Capaldi's disappearance began October 12th, when her daughter contacted Perkasi police to report her missing. Prosecutors say the investigation later revealed that Capaldi was deleted two days earlier in the early morning hours of October 10th while she slept in bed. That was when Stephen Capaldi told police he had last seen his wife, the news release said, although he never reported her missing to police. In addition to strangling her, investigators say that Stephen Capaldi used a pillow to smother his wife in their bedroom. He then allegedly moved her body to a back bedroom and then to the basement where police say he dismembered her before disposing of her remains. In addition to a third degree termination charge and abuse of a corpse, Stephen Capaldi is also charged with possession of an instrument of a crime, tampering with or fabricating physical evidence and obstructing the administration of law. He is currently being held at the Bucks County Correctional Facility 
without bail. Well, well, well. More and more men are going to unleash the beast that's been hiding in them for so long. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in the home, in the bedroom. Got to give that one a 10. Method of execution. It looks like we have a double dose. The hands of hate and the pillow of pain. So I got to give that one a 10. Psychological impact. I'm going to give this one a 10 because of all the quote unquote sorrow and fluff from everybody. We know the public grandstanding of the family. Oh, she's this blah, 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 blah. And of course, for the brutality factor, you know I'm going with a 10 on that one. So, Stefan, the strangler smotherer, gets a score of 40. Now, the message that I have for any man who is still cohabitating in this day and age, being asleep is your most vulnerable position that you can put yourself in, especially with how crazy modern women have been allowed to become. No cohabitation, gents. No cohabitation. I know society still wants to try to sell men on marriage, which ironically, I was asked about the new Indonesia law. Man, I've been looking into that. And yeah, that is not going to end well. But that's another video for another time. Yes, more and more men are taking matters into their own hands. And of course, there's not a motive behind why he did what he did. However, with the way things are going at this point, honestly, I no longer care because whatever happened behind closed doors between those two, they're doing everything as usual to misdirect. Oh, she was such a good woman. She was this, she was that, blah, 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 blah. Once again, in my simple mind, the more positive they try to make the woman, the darker the secret that that house more than likely contained. But hey, if this guy decides to talk, he'll talk. But I think he let his actions speak for him. She did or said something to him that more than likely drove him over the edge and he took matters into his own hands. Gentlemen, Prepare to see more of this. But like I said, in the end, it is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the full article. Let me know what you guys think. And women around the world, the power for a lot of you will go out. Feminism will go out right along with it. And like this particular scenario shows, ladies, even you can catch it while you're sleeping. So yeah, you might want to be very wise to stop doing whatever you're doing or speaking how you're speaking because you never know. You might go to sleep one night and your man decides to give you the eternal sleep. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up, murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.